Well, in America, you have a conspiracy theorist in the White House. Yeah, a paranoid conspiracy theorist. Department of Justice said no evidence of voter fraud Another conversation, you know, me and Jerry got to stop having these conversations. I said he's going to tell everyone that the Department of Justice are lying now. As, as you get closer and closer to January, Trump is going to give out more and more outlandish and targeted and specific sort of targeting certain individuals' claims. Uh, claims against those individuals then but as per usual he won't give you any evidence right he can make all these claims with no details of any sets of data that people can connect the dots between to support the claim itself you know what is supporting your claim if there's nothing then it just falls apart it's like sand Dry sand, when you pick it up, it falls between your fingers and it's all gone. Nada, nothing, right? You have a dictator in office as well. A dictator who is a paranoid conspiracy theorist that everyone's against him because they told him something that disagrees with his um narrative we see that through youtube haters jeez america needs a big paradigm shift in and change or it's entirely fucked for a long time actually i did say before you you screwed for a short term but i don't know i don't i don't have that kind of faith anymore I think you're just completely fucked I want to be wrong about that I don't say it because I want to attack America out of any emotional stance but uh, that raises people's emotional responses because it's so slammed and rammed into Americans of uh, go show, go team and wave the flag right all based on emotion and tribalism and, you know, at Trump's rallies, the mantra, USA, USA. That doesn't sound patriotic to me. Well, it sounds like it's an angry mob. Many Amer Americans are actually sick of that. How about admitting your successes are down to collaboration with, sometimes, with people who are nothing... Who are, from elsewhere, you know. Elsewhere. I don't mean another planet, I mean other countries, right? USA is not the only country, come on. It's the same with the UK. I'm very thankful for the Belgian scientists working on the Pfizer um, vaccine, uh, collaborating with us, uh, to, uh, shipping vaccines over from Belgium, and that's, that's not entirely down to us, but it's partially down to us. And because of a socialised um, health system, we are able here to have a leader, uh, leadership in this. Great. Um, we have vaccinations start uh, being administered next week. A clinically passed vaccination, by the way. Clinically passed and, you know, gone through all the proper rigorous uh, controls that a vaccine does. The first vaccine of its kind, RNA, it's a two shot cycle. You have one shot one week, 21 datas. 21 daters? 21 days later. Try to say days and later, all in one. Um, you have the second shot. And you should be good to go then. Alright. 
And does that make me proud? Yeah, of course. But I'm not going to shout and rant that, uh, in ways that it was like, UK, UK, <laughs> perhaps it doesn't come off the tone, it sounds pathetic. We're a multicultural country. Our, our best of our best in our health profession really are people who come over from India, Asia, the Asian doctors. They set up over here and really helped our health profession. We would still have one without them, but it wouldn't be half as good. That's not to be disrespectful for our, you know, our born and bred UK people who are in the health profession as well. They work damn hard and they save lives and they see some terrible things every day. And you, I'm forever thankful for that. I'm forever thankful for a successful, successfully socialised socialized healthcare system. Yes, there's long waiting lists. People complain and all that. But it's, it could be a damn sight worse. Trump would uh, go on and on about, we're never going to be a socialised country, blah, blah, blah. I think he's just saying that he doesn't want to socialise your healthcare system. It doesn't mean that you have to socialise everything. But I think you'd be wise to with the healthcare. I don't pay any extra than I normally pay for anything from things like uh, vaccinations, prescriptions, if I was really sick, went to hospital, if I broke a bone, got a plaster to set the bone in place, I don't pay nothing, any extra, nothing, other than I already do anyway, via a tax that is across the board, everyone pays national insurance. You can uh, voluntarily pay it as well, rather than a bit sort of extracted out of your wage or whatever. You can do a voluntary payment, which is more higher than uh, usually. But it can be lower depending on whatever uh, excuses you might have. So, with that said, I think, uh, you know, it eases my mind. It's going to take time, a long time to, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, but things are going to smooth over. The 2021 is going to improve gradually better than 2020 did for us in, in the UK and Britain. As for America, I'm worried. I'm really worried. Uh, you got a paranoid um, conspiracy theorist and dictator, somebody attempting to be a dictator, in the White House. You got a healthcare system where people have to pay out of pocket all the time, and yeah, you know, I think after the UK is the. Pfizer want to ship vaccines to America as well. How hey, that's going to be implemented, uh, I'm worried. Uh, you've got people rallying uh, of uh, protests here and there. Anti-vaxxers. you got anti-vaxxers in the UK as well. It's stupid. There's no evidence that um, people can't still transmit it after vaccine vaccination by the way you could be in your body but no doesn't harm you at all but you can carry it and pass it on to somebody and that other somebody might not be vaccinated so there's still a problem there that it's not entirely they don't have, they don't have enough data on that side of things yet they have enough data to administer it say and claim it's safe i'd be lining up i'd take it i would uh, line up for this yeah, sure. They're going to make a shitload of money out of this. I don't think that's 
their prime objective here, though, is to save lives. Thank you for watching, anyway. Take care. And I'll look forward to doing the next video soon. Good luck, America.